Welcome to another Fit the Glory 2 guide. This applies to both ancients and medieval. It's a guide to evasion. Now, you won't be able to predict how evasion works 100% of the time, but you can predict how it's going to work most of the time. So, for one thing, light infantry will evade charges by non light troops in open terrain 100% of the time. Outside of that, units will generally try to evade if they think that standing is a bad idea and that they have a decent chance of getting away. If standing is suicidal, they might attempt to evade even if evasion is unlikely. They also will take into account who else can charge them when deciding evasion. They will not take into account whether they can actually successfully evade, make the decision. So let's break this down with some examples. So here, light javelin men against light archers we charge. The light archers stand, even though they were down 100 POA on impact. They did get lucky. They did not attempt evasion because, well, the way evasion works, both pursuer and evader has a quarter chance of going one tile faster, a quarter chance of going one tile slower and a 50% chance of going the same speed as usual. So this was a tough situation, but an attempt to evade probably would have resulted in getting caught, and although the impact was terrible, the melee is even. But here, the light archers are vague, they know that they're almost certainly going to get away with it, and they do. What about here? Light archers against the light javelin men. Impact is bad. If we charge, they stand. But in this situation, they'll attempt to evade because there's a hard hitting unit in charge range nearby. So even though they might get caught doing this, and they do, they still felt that it was better to take the chances of this happening than standing here. In this situation, they have to take into account there's a flank threat there. But, you know, if they, if they flee, they might get caught. Ultimately, they're going to choose to evade rather than take a guaranteed flank hit. Here, that charge path is blocked. So they'll take the charge because they don't see the enemy can charge them. If they had stood there, instead of losing and falling back, I could subsequently move this unit and then auto drop them. Here, again, no flank threat. We can charge and set up the flank for next turn. All right, another thing, uh, kind of a quirk, when you're charging light infantry especially, you're better off charging them diagonally and orthogonally because, again, those, that 25, 50, 25 odd I talked about, well, they move two tiles diagonally, three tiles orthogonally, so you get a slightly better chance catching them out diagonal. And we did catch them this time. Okay, next up. Light infantry can pass through other infantry units. Here, you might think since this tile's blocked, they can't evade, but they can invade to an extent diagonally as well. Here, evaders do not take into account whether their evade path is blocked. So they'll attempt to evade and then, ouch. All right, now we have two different situations. So here we have Bedouin cavalry, average Lancers. Up 100 on impact, Melee is even. Nomad Horse Archers stood, even though the impact was terrible because the melee was okay, and because they're adjacent, the odds of getting caught are quite high. What about against Knights and Sergeants? 150 impact, and then also quite horrible melee odds because of the armor, the troop quality, and Knights getting 150 swordsmen against cavalry. So in that case, they attempt to evade, even though that was a strong possibility. Because if they got in a way, that would have been worth the risk. Okay, 
no unit can evade twice. So a common tactic if you're dealing with light cavalry, you don't have light cavalry of your own. You don't have enough missile troops to just mow them down. You can set up situations like that where you can then follow up with the charge. Of course, that's only useful if you have your own cavalry. If you only have infantry, well, sure, you can charge here, but they're just going to immediately turn to base and fall back, probably pass the cohesion check, and then you've just you know, spent the turn with two probably more expensive than this unit as unit, even if they're not for Anchian Guard, doing, you know, fuck all. Congratulations. The only way you can really kill Light Cavalry with melee foot is if you can get them into situations where they are trapped against another unit and they can't evade because you've already charged them once. And now you can gradually kill this unit as long as you keep their fallback path blocked. So, that's a light guide to evasion. So, basically, you know, the 25 50 25 ratio of moving faster, slower, or the regular speed. The fact that they take into account existing immediate flank or other charge threats. So, that kind of thing is especially useful if you have a heavy foot army with only a few lights and your enemy has more lights. Keep your lights in close proximity to your foot. You can try to use your foot to force evades on the enemy and maybe catch them out and break them, or at least keep them moving. So like I said, you're never going to be able to really protect evasion 100% of the time, but you can make it so you generally know what's going to happen and you know not be so flustered by their unpredictability. To end with one common question among new players, especially those coming from maybe more gaming than a historical background, is why can't I set evasion states on my units? Well, that's basically a realism thing. To be honest, the game has already made compromises with realism, like you can order raw trash infantry to just charge knights head on. They probably would have just not done that in real life, uh, but... It's a concession to gameplay. Uh, Pike and Shot, Single Kujidai, the older games in the series didn't let certain types of infantry charge certain types of units, namely cavalry, because uh, they just didn't in reality. But players found this really frustrating. So, you know, that concession was made, but uh, I think Richard, the lead dev, thought it was a concession too far for you to be able to say, you know, to your like, pajama clad shepherds armed with slings buttered knives and you know nothing to uh stand their ground and hold the charge of the cataphracts in open terrain because you know the cause is important no you know that that's just not gonna happen so that was a compromise too far for him so you know you don't set the evade state and to be fair you know <laughs> Imagine how frustrating it would be if you were playing in multiplayer and your opponent had a trash skirmisher swarm and they could set evade states. It would be very tough from a balance perspective. So that's evasion. Um, I made this video partially because I just wanted to. I, I think other people have made evasion videos and I haven't actually watched them, so it's probably some overlap. More importantly, I want to go into guides to various unit types later, and rather than repeat myself when talking about cavalry or lights, I thought I could get a baseline evasion video going here, and then in the future I can speak more about the special features of those units and not so much about evasion as such. So let me know if there's... yes, uh, my cat wants me to be done, so let me know if there's anything else you want covered when it comes to evasion. Otherwise, I'll keep checking up. Till next time.